Before we get the dance party started, I just wanted to say a couple things. Vanny, I've never seen anything more gorgeous in my life than you. Yeah! yeah. I love you. Uh, some of you probably know, but we met at a Halloween party. And so I, wanted, I just wanted to tell this story. And uh, this was in 2014. She came as cotton candy. And okay. I, I, my, my costume was so full out that I didn't break character. Like I, I was Captain Jack Sparrow. And her friend Marcy thought I was English, for real. She was like, does he speak like that? So, uh, she kind of knew who I was. And uh, she introduced herself. She said, hi, I'm Savannah. I'm Michelle Latimer's daughter. And I, I, I was like, oh, okay. I, I know who you are from the dance world in Denver. And we, we pretty much hit it off right away. Uh, we hung around each other the whole night. So, my band, R5, was playing a gig. And, uh, Los Angeles a couple days later, so I said, hey, why don't you, why don't you come to the show and, you know, check me out. <laughs> and I, uh, she agreed, she came to the show, and afterward, uh, I'm thinking, oh, sweet, she's going to come, see me on stage, we're going to hang out, get to know each other a little bit better, and after the show, I can't find her anywhere. I'm walking around the venue, I, I'm like, where did she go? So I call her, I'm like, hey, where'd you go? She's like, oh, we left. <laughs> I'm like, well, turn around. And she's like, well, we're already almost home. So I'm like, okay, well, let me take you to dinner tomorrow night. So she agreed. This is November 7th, 2014. And I'm driving over to her house. And, uh, and no, the blue thing, bring me the blue thing. I'm driving over to her house. a bit nervous. I've never been nervous to meet a girl before, but I think in my heart, I think I knew something today was happening, and I thought it'd be a super slick move to have the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack. <laughs> so she gets in the car, I pick her up from her to the Lake apartment with Chelsea. She gets in the car, and this song started playing. <laughs> every single day together. We went on many dates, uh, came over for my birthday, movies, our first kiss was at a Taco Tuesday party. Woo! And we love hanging around each other so much that we uh, keep trying to go back to Denver for the holidays. Woo! So I brought her up to my family's cabin yeah, yeah. for a couple of days. And uh, we went our separate ways for Christmas, but then New Year's came along and she invited me to her house to spend New Year's Eve with her family. And I got to meet the whole family. The most nervous I have ever been in my entire life was meeting her dad, Fred Latimer. And again, nerves aren't a thing for me, ever. And I just think some, I think my heart knew something really, really big was happening. So we spent New Year's Eve together and it's, we're now in officially we're now officially in 2015. We're brushing our teeth, it's, I don't know, 1 a.m. or so. And I can't hold it in anymore. I just had to tell her. I had to tell her that I had fallen in love with this brown-eyed girl. Yeah. 
Valentine's Day, very specifically, uh, we were on tour, the band and I, in Florida, and she was with us. And I, we were traveling from city to city playing shows, so I didn't have time to set up a proper Valentine's date. So I thought, well, hell, I'll just, maybe I'll write her a song. And this is it. Tell me everything in your dreams Are your fantasies I wanna know To be your perfect Don't be hiding underneath I see cherry, rosy cheese Don't you know To be your perfect 